the Cleveland Browns have added a running back following the season-ending injury to Nick Chubb. Kareem Hunt is back in Cleveland, signing officially this morning on a one-year deal worth up to $4 million. Ian, I know that the Browns like what they've got in Jerome Ford. We'll kind of see how the split plays out in that backfield, but Kareem Hunt is a guy who's had productivity in Cleveland. He knows that system well. The logical guy, especially on a short week, to jump in right into the mix. Yeah, I think this one makes a lot of sense for a couple reasons. First of all, for Kareem Hunt, he had been waiting for his opportunity, visited several teams. I know there was a couple of times I think both you and I thought maybe, all right, this is the team he's going to sign. He wanted to make sure the opportunity was perfect. And then, unfortunately, it took something terrible, Mike, for it to happen. Nick Chubb, one of the best running backs in football, out for the season with a multi-ligament injury. Just really one of the worst injuries we've seen, I think, in some time. Horrific watching it. I think as soon as it happened, everyone knew how bad it was. And for the Cleveland Browns, you know, it's terrible, obviously, but the, the possibility of bringing in someone who you know, who's been productive, who can fit right in, knows the playbook, it's kind of come in seamlessly. None of it's good, but it's maybe not as bad as it could have been. And so much of what the NFL is is teams adjusting when there are terrible injuries and just being ready. I think the Browns are ready and you know, hopefully for them, this ends up as okay as it can be. I, I think he's going to contribute. I think he's going to be a, a, a big part of what they're doing. But we can't ignore Jerome Ford, especially coming off the performance that he had the other night. Look, running back, playing running back in the NFL, it is a young man's game. And Kareem Hunt is still young. I believe he's 28 now, so he's uh, certainly on the right side of 30. But the fact that he was out there and still a free agent, it just goes to show you that teams are willing to – Lean toward the young guys here and the, the, the guys who are not going to cost you as much. Well, in this case, the Browns had a need at least to have a 1A and a 1B here. So Kareem Hunt going to be in the mix. But to say that all of a sudden he's going to come in and be the uh, number one running back and supplant uh, Jerome Ford, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think Ford is likely their best option, uh, at least for the short term here.